Hey everybody. Let's say you get a Windows 8 OEM PC in for service that needs to have Windows reinstalled. Let's say the hard drive crashes. Or if you're wanting to get rid of all the OEM junk and get rid of all the OEM recovery partitions and just start from scratch with a fresh install of Windows 8. Now obviously I'd recommend you roll back to Windows 7 but um, let's say you um, just want to install Windows 8 and you decide to flip over the computer in, in the case of a laptop you flip over the laptop on the bottom side and you proceed to look for the COA sticker and you can't find it you open the battery compartment don't find it there either you're saying where is the COA sticker at? well I got some news for you with Windows 8 and I'm sure this will be the same way with Windows 8.1 they have changed the way that um, OEM machines are licensed from like Windows XP through Windows 7 you actually had two keys you had an OEM SLP key that would either be um, in, um, used in pre-installed copies of Windows or you could unload um, this um, SLP key and using a loader and you would also have a um, COA key on the bottom of the machine so you had your OEM SLP in your OEM COA. Two separate keys. And Microsoft would always say that um, if the computer crashes or whatever, or you want to reinstall Windows, you will activate using the COA key. And with Windows Vista and Windows 7, many times when you use the COA key for first time, the OEM COA key for first time, you'd have to use the telephone activation to activate it. But anyways, um, you're still looking for that key on your um, Windows 8 machine that's not there because now Microsoft has decided to um, simplify things I believe, this, I believe they still use a master SLP key on pre-installed copies of Windows 8 but um, they also include more or less what used to be a COA is now within the motherboard's BIOS so it's actually um, encrypted within the, the motherboard's BIOS and I believe if the BIOS gets flashed, it doesn't harm this. Um, and I believe the key works similar to um, the SLP style key. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and um, show an example of what you will see in the bottom of the Windows 8 computer. With Windows 8, you don't have the COA as I mentioned. You have this little bitty sticker that says Windows 8. That's all you have. See, when we used to have COA keys that never wore off, then we went to COA keys that wore off, actually the key wore off the sticker. Now we're going to have no COA keys at all. Isn't that just wonderful? Way to go, Microsoft. So you see your computer has a little bit of Windows 8 sticker on the bottom of it, rather than a COA sticker like this. Now this one's worn off. You can't read the key, but this is for Windows Vista. But, um... You saw, you saw that little bitty Windows 8 sticker on the bottom of the machine and you now get the idea that um, the key is in the virus now obviously if I didn't tell you that you'd be clueless as to where your key is at <clears throat> so you go into your BIOS and you start looking for your key you still can't find it anywhere as I mentioned it's encrypted you can't find it you can't actually bring it up and see it so you're thinking okay how am I going to be able to reinstall this copy of Windows without a key well here's the good news about that now of course I haven't actually had to experience this yet but this is what I've researched online about the matter when you go to install Windows 8 the Windows 8 install DVD before it asks you for a key it will search your motherboard's BIOS for a key and if it finds a key it proceeds, it just proceeds along with setup as usual it would look as if you were installing Windows 7 because Windows 7 does not ask you for a key during the initial setup more or less you get prompted to um, where you be, you'd be asked where you want to install Windows, that kind of stuff. Now if it can't find the key, <clears throat> it will ask you to enter a product key. And with Windows 8, you can't skip this anymore. It's like the old Windows XP days, or Windows 98 days. You had to have a product key there just to install the operating system. Now Windows XP Service Pack 3 install disk, and um, see Vista and Windows 7, you could just um, not enter a product you would uncheck activate Windows while I'm online and just skip the whole process but in Windows 8 you must have a key 
to um, actually install the operating system. So if you get asked for a key, that means it couldn't find a key in your BIOS. But if you didn't, you didn't get asked for a key, that means it found the key within the BIOS. So you can actually go ahead and install Windows 8 on this computer, and um, you don't have to worry about entering a key because it will find it within the, the OEM computer's BIOS. Now, if it asks you, then you would need to contact your OEM or contact Microsoft if you can't get a hold of your OEM about the matter. So I just wanted, just wanted to clarify some things about Windows 8 and how they have changed with the um, OEM licensing. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.